Hello, hello, this is Minecraft here, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Vanilla Super Flat Survival. And we finally have gotten our portal lit. I did not actually witness how it got, um, how it actually got lit, but, um, I went back to my house, just did some chores, made some, made a ton of wheat, made, crafted some bread, so I had a stack. Um, I am going to go to another village to get some carrots because we're completely out of all carrots, so that kind of sucks, but I do like bread as a food source as well. Um, I actually also decided to just stand around and stand near the mob grinder right here just so I can collect some mob drops, and what do you know? One chicken spawn, so I just made this little pen right here near the mob, um, near the, uh, uh, nether portal right here and decided to take advantage of the door right here so I could have double doors One thing that I try to make sure is that if if this pen is going to be sometime If this pen is going to be overfilled with chickens Then I'm going to need a double exit just in case so if I open the door and then close it and another chicken comes out here It won't affect other chickens because if I accidentally leave the door open then they won't escape the pen but the chickens do manage to somehow glitch out all the time, so I am planning to expand this and maybe put this somewhere else because this is kind of a tiny pen if I really get an industrial uh, farm going. So, uh, But the best part of it is that I actually have gotten a second chicken to spawn, so what a coincidence. Finally, another chicken spawned before the previous one glitched out, so hopefully we can start breeding these, and uh, let's just hope it doesn't glitch out. Cause it's gonna suck. And also when I get more chickens into the pen, it causes the other one to start going towards me, so it might cause them to escape. That's also the reason why I have them like that. Okay, now let's, okay, now let's breed them together. Okay, is that a tiny chicken that I hear? Uh, okay, now let's hope that they don't glitch out, because I really don't want them to glitch out. Uh, okay, let me just collect that piece of XP that I get when I breed them. Uh, I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, it takes a 5 minute cooldown to breed them once more, because uh, it like... I have to wait until it cools down again. They can't breed all the time, so I have to wait 5 minutes before uh, breeding them again, so... Um, and like I promised in this episode, we will be going to the nether. I'm going to do that, like, right now. Uh, let me just do some preparations, put the seeds away. Now get some more, uh, get that charcoal that I just made. Craft some sticks. Okay, 48 torches, that should be okay. Okay, now I'm going to get almost all the cobblestone that I have and pile it up right here just so I can have enough cobblestone for building a good shelter in the nether. Uh, let's just hope that we don't spawn somewhere where we lose all of the cobblestone. That doesn't usually happen, but there are really bad spawns in uh, in the nether, so gotta watch out for that. I'm, I'm actually going to take two stacks of arrows just in case some gas spawn. I'm also gonna replace my uh, iron sword with I mean my stone sword with an iron one I'm actually now going to put on my uh, armor that I have let's see do I have any oh I do have some uh, boots so that kinda cleared out a bit of this chest which was uh, very kinda like filled up with a bunch of stuff to the brim so we are now officially heading out to the nether so this is a key event for this world because we can finally explore different dimensions let's just hope and pray that we don't somehow manage to uh, that we don't somehow manage to spawn somewhere where we don't want to spawn okay now what the hell happened well apparently it looks like the chickens have glitched out which sucks very much so. Um, my solution for that problem will be to take some more seeds from this chest right here. Take the seeds, then lure the the chicken into somewhere right here. And the only way I think that to have the chicken actually not glitch out is to actually have the chicken follow me. Okay, let me just... So, I put them in my hand right here, and then that way we should 
Come on. Come here. Why is it not following me? Or is it because it's not in breeding mode? Or that's why. Because it, it doesn't want to breed. Uh, so I'm planning to build another mini fence inside so I can have a double fence just so in case it glitches out of the first fence, it doesn't glitch out of the second fence. I have actually heard of um, floating chicken farm designs that protect against them actually kind of glitching out. And I heard that in 1.8 and 1.9 the glitching out of the chickens has been kind of fixed because the hitboxes have been remade and redone. So I'm really afraid that these chicken will kind of despawn once I okay finally I'm a bit afraid that these chicken will kinda despawn once I go to the nether so I don't really want that to happen okay so this way the chicken should not glitch out and even if it does glitch out it should glitch out right here and even if it does glitch out right here will most likely glitch out in right here so so double and triple protection. Uh, I'm not sure. I might move this. Uh, I might move this pen somewhere else. But this is an issue because I have my access point west right here. So maybe if I kind of move it out right here, I could move the access point right here just so it goes in right there and there, just so I could cover up this exit and kind of move the access point a bit. But that's only if I can't find a better suitable location for the chicken farm because I am planning to have an automated chicken farm. So. Yeah, I kind of blabbered on there for quite a long time, so now let's go to the nether. Yes! Finally going to the nether. Oh, what I... Yes, I almost forgot. I was actually going to take... Two stacks of arrows. I really almost forgot, so... Let me just take a second stack of arrows. Just in case. Completely in case. Just only if I happen to... Okay... We still have that little chicken right there. Hopefully it can grow up without glitching out and we can breed the two. So, yeah. Finally going to the nether. Yes. Okay. Okay, hopefully we'll have a good terrain area to build up our uh, base right here. And, oh, darn. I wouldn't say this is exactly a bad place to spawn, but I wouldn't really say it's exactly a good place to spawn either, because we do have that, um, lava, those lava lakes kind of going out there, so. And I do hear already tons of gas spawning, so. Okay, why is there not, like, any light coming from these, uh, do I need to update it or something? Nope can't touch this. Okay, I'm already under attack from ghasts. That is just great. Let's just hope it doesn't hit the glowstone because I really want to collect the glowstone. Uh, but I will, of course, get most of my glowstone from trading once I get a trading post set up. I really can't see where the ghasts are, but I really want to see where the ghasts are. Okay. Oh, oh, there's some over there. Okay, maybe you can hit some of their fireballs off. But I guess my first priority right now would be to actually build a base because, uh... Okay, I'm pretty sure. Oh, got that one. Oh, no. Okay, did we hit it? Let's hope we are gonna hit it. Hope oh, no. Kinda went over there. I wish you could dis extinguish the fires just by using, but just by shooting arrows into it, so. Okay, now let's see. As far as base building goes, I think that I'm gonna build my base somewhere inlet right here just for more protection from ghasts. Uh, okay, gotta coll collect that nether quartz. I'm actually very satisfied with our spawn and uh, basically how we're playing in this let's play. It's very fun to go to the nether in super flat world. And I just completely love playing super flat worlds. It's a very beautiful world. I love super flat. I love the nether. And I love Minecraft in general. And also one thing that I want to update my most... Um, my most active fans that listen and watch almost every of my videos is that I'm actually soon going to be a Minecraft modder. I was reading up on some Minecraft books 
Um, and I might become a Minecraft modder soon. I'm going to release my own Minecraft mods, and this is going to be my official mod channel. So, stay posted. I might get some mods. I might make mods. I will definitely make some mod Let's Play. So, um, make sure to look forward to that. Okay, is that... Is that what I'm seeing? There was just a huge gas really low down here. Okay. Okay, let's hope. Okay, can we possibly get the, uh... Oh, we actually got gunpowder from that. Wow. But no gas tears, unfortunately. Um, so let me just clear out this area right here. Uh... I think that I'm just going to go one level down, and this is where I'm going to build my base. I'm also going to have a cobblestone structure around my nether portal to make sure that the gas don't actually... Oh. Oh my god, that was very close. So like I said, I'm also going to have um, a cobblestone structure around my nether portal, which I usually actually do for the the first time that I spawn in the nether, I actually usually build up a cobblestone wall around my nether portal, because it can actually happen if a gas manages to fire into the nether portal, it can actually um, disignite or kind of um, put out the nether portal, if you may, because the nether portal is kind of like a fire burning or like a, kind of like a plasma, so it can be put out by a gassed fireball, but one way to protect the nether portal is actually to not stay around it too much, so, um, were there any gas? I don't really see any gas threats as of now, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to surround this area with cobblestone, um, Possibly even the lower level is all going to be surrounded by cobblestone just to make sure for extra protection to make sure that the gas won't be able to get to us. Now let's careful not fall into the um, lava down there. Okay, I can hear some. No, no, no. Wow, that was a close call. That was a very close call. If we do get stuck in the nether, this is game over, guys. Game over. We won't be able to get anywhere with this Let's Play. That was too close. Okay, okay, let's just hope... Oh, finally dead. Okay, some sometime I'm gonna have to run over there and see if we did get some gas tears from that. I should have gotten really more uh, pickaxes with me because... I really don't have any pickaxes with me as of right now. I'm just thinking how I'm gonna go about this. Okay, then build up one right here. Um, jump down right here. Let me just eat some. I think this time, because of the way that the nether portal is structured, I'm gonna have both of the nether portal kind of facing out, if you may. Uh, I mean that I'm gonna have space, this is where my house is gonna be somewhere around here, and I could go to the right or to the left. Um, now, okay, the cobblestone is going very quickly, as I would have expected. Hmm. Oh, that was weird. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna craft, uh, make a crafting table just so I can make some more... I'm gonna make another pickaxe just in case because um, I really don't want to craft a pickaxe while there's gas shooting at me just so I f so I can destroy some blocks. I actually think I won't have these blocks right here just because this is where my house is gonna be. Um, okay, let's see. We got some sticks right here. Uh, let's cover that up real quick right here. Oh crap! Not with dirt, but with netherrack. Um, I actually just realized that we actually do have to have some area right here. Okay, we can't pick up any more cobblestone, so let's just place some more of it. Um, I guess this is where our base is going to be. It's going to be quite a large base, just because I like having large bases. And for something like the nether, we do have to have a lot of protection from the outside environment. Um... Uh, 
I'm going to use iron bars as windows here as well. Now I do have to make sure that the um, the floor is made out of cobblestone as well. Now let me secure this side as well. I am kind of thinking that I'm making my base a bit too large, but I don't think large is okay. The larger the better. Okay, this is posing a bit of threat to me, so let me... Okay, we hit that. Let's see, just hit it the second time. There we go. It's finally dead. I love killing ghasts because I hate gas so much. I hate them even more than I hate creepers, so... Uh, well, I think that I'm gonna, gonna complete this build fairly soon, and then after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the episode because I think it's been going on for a while now. Okay, now this is when I'm going to bridge it. Now let's kind of bridge, bridge the cobblestone down here. Okay, now I'll just speed up the operation by a bit by going like that. Uh, now let me build the third layer up right here. And there's kind of a bit of co uh, nether rack up here. Um, now, just in case, I'm going to also protect the top of the nether portal just in case. Just in case a glitch says out or something happens like that. I think I'm also going to protect this side as well, just in case. Um, uh, but on the other side... On the other hand, I don't really need to protect it because this is all going to be protected by the roof that I'm going to roof up right now. And this is going to be our nice little... Uh, nether base but you know actually i wouldn't call it that little i've had much smaller bases in the nether uh, i think the smallest base that i had in the nether is my survival um is my minecraft environmine mod nether base and that's environmine is basically a very difficult mod in which adds thirst um uh, oxygen um it basically adds thirst uh, you can become crazy if you battle too much mobs. It also adds some capabilities for... Um, it also adds air quality, and you have to place leaves to breathe better, and if you don't place leaves, you can suffocate. You can also make these oxygen bottles and make an oxygen mask if you're mining underground. And the air is the worst around lava and around fire and deep underground. That's when... Okay, this is really stupid. I almost keep on falling in there. And I do have quite a bit of important things inside, such as my iron sword. That's something I don't want to lose. Um, so like I said before, it's actually... Um, it's weird that they have these just weird patches of lava right here. Let me just cover that up just in case. Uh, so like I said, it's basically a mod that adds difficulty to Minecraft where you have to drink water and you can get water bottles. Uh, if you take water from the ocean, from an ocean biome, it will be a salty water bottle. If you take water from some, um, from something like, from some sources from like a swamp or, or, uh, or a confined lake, then the water might be uh, a dirty water bottle. And if you want, you can actually take you can actually take the uh, water and kind of distill it and purify it by putting in 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 a it in a furnace, and that way it purifies the water, so you can get pure drinking water by smelting it in the furnace or distilling it. So uh, it's a fun mod. I want to do a let's play on it someday. Uh, I'm planning to make a new world on that because my uh, my world right now that I'm doing is kind of old and uh it's kind of boring and uh well it's kind of messed up because i started building a mob grinder in there but i decided to build a floating mob grinder but since the mod actually made um makes r all blocks have physics so i would not be able to build the structure here because it would actually collapse and there are cave-ins and it's very dangerous to mine because if the cave is too big then it could collapse down and as you can see i would not be able to build such a large structure without supports in the middle in environment because the blocks would just fall down um Okay, looks like we got our uh, base going, so I'll add the finishing touches off camera. Thank you very much for watching. This was mine, Kralix. I hope this wasn't too much of a long episode. See you all in the next episode.